We'll take a look here at how we can use Caddy's simple drafting tools, things like construction lines for setting up initial geometry, drawing over them with lines, using curves for our circles, adding dimensions, and then uh, a, hair, a hatch fill, how we can use these tools and techniques to create our simple shape. So that's what we'll look at over the course of this little exercise. Uh, CADI is broken down into the various components, lines, curves, construction lines, so those are your uh, sort of geometry lines if you like, and uh, certainly a good place to start for what we're doing here. So having selected the, the main toolbox, we'll go for construction X and Y, drop down a point, could be anywhere there, uh, and then just do a parallel offset as a setting out. So if I type in 200 if we're working in millimeters and then literally point close to the line I want to reproduce on the side that I want it so I could do that as many times as I like and you see it just reproduces it on the side that we want right click and we have the zoom box there so I can zoom into it so zoom into the area make it a little bit larger we can go to point 2 choose our snap mode so we might want to choose auto snap or the discrete snap modes there for intersections and so on auto snap is actually configurable so uh, I'm using my setup uh, hopefully it will be a similar one that you have on there but you can see you can snap on to the points that we've just set out there any uh, anything that we want to cancel we can either do right click option end or just press escape on the keyboard we'll do it uh, equally well if we select the ones that we don't want we can just hit the delete key or right click and say delete so whichever is uh, easiest for you parallel and if I put in 75 millimeters there okay that again using that offset on the side that we want it to give us uh, whatever uh, we want to draw um, selecting the middle mouse button and just dragging gives us a pan and then the, the wheel on it gives us our zoom then I'll go to lines and choose for instance draw, you can see we've got polylines and all manner of things in there but if I select draw, still using that auto snap so we'll jump on to where the little cross is so we've got an intersection so cross to cross to cross and I can either go back to there or right click and say close and then on the top bar you'll notice one that allows us to delete all the construction objects and get rid of those for the filleting that we're talking about, if I come down the menus here and modify, you'll see there's one in there, fillet. And we've got chamfers and all sorts of things there too. So you say fillet. I'm going to say both. We'll choose the fillet radius. Okay, so we're actually trimming both the lines as opposed to leaving the originals there. So okay to that. It says indicate the first element, and this is where all the, the commands come, so we're on the command line there. And it's just point on the side that you want to keep, on the side that you want to keep, 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 want to keep. and it'll give us that. Uh, we can go back to the construction lines if we wanted, so if we pick our construction lines, we've got things like find a midpoint, so I can pick on there, I can pick on there. Uh, pick on there and it'll show us the center of that little figure there. We could go to curves and we could put in a radius of say 25 mil, why not, uh, and then just drop it down uh, again on there and we could uh, do the same thing. The spacebar will actually give you the same command again but if I put in say 35 this time and then drop it down on the same point you'll see exactly what we've got. Go to the delete all construction, it cancels the previous command and starts us out to uh, ready for the next uh, next point too. Dimensions I go to dimensions and if I just give you a quick look at the dimension setup box there's an awful lot of things you can vary in the basic set or in the settings for the dimensions but if we choose basic settings and you see you can toggle through all of the different aspects there but if we go for basic settings use basic settings choose one to one if we have an arrow uh, close fill arrow and you can see you've got all the types in there an arrow is size of 50 choose the font so whichever font you want to use and things like fixed length extension lines and so on 
Uh, I'm using a global settings, but we can do much more with uh, that with you later. But if you set that current, you can see what that's going to uh, to give us there. So I'll leave that one just there so you can uh, have a, a quick look at it. OK to that. Then when we, in fact for me, I need to go back up the uh, the scroll up the, the tools because I'm working at a, a sort of slightly compressed format here. Diagonal and we'll pick up the end point of that curve, the end point of that curve and we can put it down there. We can do the same thing. Okay. And we can do things like uh, angle for instance where we can pick the line for the angle, line for the angle and then we can drop it wherever we like so we can see the different uh, possibilities there. Okay, and I'm going to say option end to that. If I wanted to fill that with hatching, I could come to hatching, I could set up my parameters, and we've got everything from gradient fills to patterns where you have all the uh, different line style patterns in there. So if we go to uh, go to patterns there, just come down the list so you see there's an en enormous amount of uh, different patterns there or you could choose fill for instance where you can choose either by pen color or by RGB color so if I pick from the standard list or go to more colors or there's even a custom which gives you free reign to change the sort of densities of the, the colors and so on but come back onto here and if I pick something like a, a sort of salmony pink okay that uh, you'll notice also that we have the ability to force things like hatching and text and dimensions onto specific layers. Okay, that. Um, we'll go to the auto inside. I'll point inside there, and then if I don't want that to be hatched, I can say I don't want that. But if I point in there, then I'll get the uh, the, the middle one hatched again. Option end, and we've got our, our finished piece. So that's how we can use just some of the tools available to us with Caddy. Construction lines, lines, curves, dimensions and colour fills to create a simple shape. For more information on how to do things with Caddy, go to the Caddy website www.caddysoftware.com and look for tutorial videos or alternatively take a look at YouTube searching for Caddy how-to videos there or contact your nearest Caddy vendor.